Eric Mwadeth Mwadeth.com with a quick follow-up on Ethereum versus the dollar. Now we are seeing Ethereum kind of have its own life. It's moving to all-time highs right now while the other cryptos are struggling a little bit. Now, I talked about this early in the morning. I'm going to do a follow-up here. Now, interestingly enough, we continue seeing ETH move to all-time highs. Right now, the intraday high that I see on Bitfinex is at 12 99 now those of us who've been trading for a while whenever you see a stock struggle to move above an obvious round number that can also be a warning sign but that's not the reason for this video the reason for this video is just let's watch here because if you take a look we are seeing intraday highs on this hourly chart but take a look at the RSI the RSI right now struggling to hold above the level above and about 61.8 on the hourly RSI. Here I am using the RSI setting of 26. I'm going to include the video I made earlier this morning. Even though the stock is moving higher, again intraday high was at 12.99. Even though it is moving higher, nothing has changed from a technical standpoint because the line i drew earlier continues to be a visual resistance it's the line here i'll draw it like that you can see that we've stalled on this line here before for those highs before we get a shallow pullback here and now we are coming back to test the same line i suspect more than likely we stall around here and on this hourly chart, we can see that there was a break here. Short time, we go back to previous trading. Once we broke below here, which is this highs, we got another shallow pullback here. Now we take that information of this break on the RSI here and draw our line like that. This should be something like that. And you can see that whenever we move above this line, like here we react very well we come and show support on the same line which is this re-entry for a movement back higher support here and here which is support there and there in price we break below that line which is this movement lower we get this strong drop and you can see that what is going on here in my opinion and estimation we are coming back to test both lines the blue line and the red line so if i was to do it one more time just for clarity we can see line number one that is being tested is here and that's where it is trading at right now line number two is the previous line the blue line which i'll draw again right here both of those lines right now are exactly where the instrument is trading on its rsi this is a huge visual resistance point unless unless the stock can clear these two lines unless it can clear these two lines chances are around here we straw we struggle and start pulling back unless the stock can find a way to move above those two lines that's why i say even right now with the stock trading at 192 193 nothing has changed on the charts and given the fact that the other cryptos seem to be under pressure it won't surprise me that this too is where we start seeing ETH running into some problems unless it can clear the two lines i am discussing here on a short-term basis in other words if i was playing this i would look to go take the other side of the trade but what you'd want to do is wait for hourly confirmation so you watch the line number one watch the line number two on the hourly you want to wait for an hourly move where we see a down hour on the price prices show a down hour here that negative hour should coincide with resistance on these two lines once you see that happening then that's gonna be indication that that is where you want to take a short trade or the view 
that this is where it stalls. Failure to move above those two lines is a sign that around here we stall. If the stock can clear these two lines, then that is saying that there is more explosive action to the upside. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.